Roy G. Biv. Roy G. Biv is a very fine guy. Very fine, I don't remember. All right, let's see. Uh, uh, falls off a cliff. Man, this, he's falling off a cliff, right? Okay, uh, so this has got, uh, what is his velocity? Um, 1.62 seconds after he falls, and then what time will he take to reach the water? So I'm gonna actually do this in two separate things, right? One is uh, falling all the way to the ground. Presumably, it takes him longer than 1.62 seconds to hit the bottom of the cliff, right? Okay. Um, so let's see. Actually, let's, uh, should we solve for what time? Let's solve the time first. Then we'll know that, you know, 1.62 happens before he hits the, the, the water, right? So here's this cliff. Here's Roy G. Biv, right? He's like this guy with a, doesn't he have like a stocking hat on or something? Like that? He's got a little, he's got a big beard. Poor guy. Anyway, that's my best shot at Roy G. Biv, right? It's 17 meters tall, right? Okay, so I'm going to say his displacement is that he goes down 17 meters to hit the water, right? Because that's, of course, what he's going to do. He's going to go down. And then that's water, because we can't have Roy G. Biv, like, go splat on the ground, right? I'm going to say his initial velocity is zero. I'm going to say that this is negative 9.8, right? And then the question is, uh, uh, what is it? Oh, time. Just time. We just So we want to use no VF. Do we have something that's no VF? I guess we do, yeah. It's this guy. X is V I T plus one half A T squared, right? Okay. So uh, uh, let's see. Negative 17 is 0 plus one half negative 9.8 times T squared, right? So negative 17 equals negative 4.9 T squared. And then let's, let's, let's see. Negative 17 divided by negative 4.9 is, uh, this is 3.46938. That equals T squared, right? And then of course to get what T is, I'm gonna take the square root of that guy, right? Okay, so the thing is sitting on my calculator, right? To get a square root of it without typing it in again, I go second square root, second answer, enter. And I get one, the time is, 1.8626 seconds, right? So to hit the ground is 1.8626 seconds. 1.62 seconds, he has not yet hit the water. So, so definitely we know that the, you know, the other one is. There he is. He's like, ooh. Right? He's going down, but he has not hit the water at 1.62 seconds, right? Okay. Ta-da. Okay. So um, let's, let's solve that, baby. Okay, so I'm going to hit erase. We've gotten the time correct, 1.86 seconds, right? Let's hit erase, and now let's solve for what is his velocity, 1.62 seconds, right? Here we go. Erasing now. Okay, so now we're going to say, now we're going to solve this part. What is his velocity, 1.62 seconds after he falls? His initial velocity is zero because he's just falling. That's coded language. Uh, this guy is negative 9.8, and then we're going to put the time in here, 1.62 seconds, right? Um, and then we just want final velocity, so I'm going to use no x, which is this guy, vf is vi plus at, right? So let's see, this guy's not zero, this is what we're trying to find, and then that equals, this guy is zero, plus negative 9.8, right, times 1.62. All right, negative 9.8 times 1.62. And I'm getting that uh, the final velocity is negative 15.876 meters per second, right? Now, with three sig figs or three digits, right, we'd say negative 15.9. Ta-da. Yeah. Which is what we get. That's our answer. Look at that. Hopefully, that's the right answer. It is.